my dear students let us try to learn about one more topic by name five kingdom classification under multidisciplinary course we have already seen two kingdom classification where plantae and animalia are included now i am going to elucidate five kingdom classification this five kingdom classification was proposed by bitaker the scientist who proposed this five kingdom classification is witchaker according to witchaker there are five kingdoms under living organisms that means all the living organisms are put together under five different kingdoms the first kingdom is monera first kingdom is monera this includes only bacteria both eubacteria and archaebacteria come under this monera these are prokaryotes that means they don't have definite nucleus and uh, these bacteria are differentiated that means classified into different categories based on the shape if the bacteria are round such bacteria are called focus focus is the round bacteria whereas rod shaped bacteria are called bacillus bacillus and uh, vibrio that means that vibrio is comma shaped bacteria comma shaped bacteria are called vibrio and the spiral shaped bacteria are called spiruli so these are the organisms that are included under monera there is one more kingdom namely protista protista this includes no doubt unicellular organisms just like bacteria but the basic difference between monera and protista is monera includes only prokaryotic unicellular organisms whereas protista includes unicellular unicellular and eukaryotic organisms unicellular eukaryotic organisms are included under protista now one phylum by name protozoa is included under protista now we have seen two kingdoms namely monera and protista monera includes uh, bacteria which are unicellular and prokaryotic whereas protista includes protozoans which are unicellular but you carry it now let us go to another kingdom by name fungi this includes this fungi includes saprozoic organisms that means they feed on dead and decaying organic matter and another kingdom is plantae this includes plants these are multicellular eukaryotic contain chlorophyll autotrophs these are producers they can prepare their own food material in the process called photosynthesis and the starch is the reserve food material so this is about the plant chain. and coming to the last kingdom that is animalia animalia includes multicellular eukaryotic organisms they lack cellulose these are heterotrophs that means they can't prepare their own food material and uh, here the reserve food material is glycogen so of course uh, this animalia is again divided into various categories based on different uh, characters that is not needed for multidisciplinary courses so in case of uh, five kingdom classification we have seen five kingdoms namely monera that is first one monera example is bacteria monera or unicellular prokaryotes second kingdom is protista protista and uh, this includes protozoans which are unicellular but eukaryotic and the uh, third one is fungi these are uh, the organisms that exhibit saprozoic mode of nutrition and uh, another one is plantae this includes 
plants of course and these uh, plants are uh, multicellular eukaryotic uh, producers autotrophs uh, starch is the reserve food material here and uh, last uh, kingdom is animalia that includes all animals that includes all animals which are heterotrophs eukaryotic multicellular and the glycogen is the reserve food material so this is about the uh, which acre five kingdom classification thank you very much